Hey everybody, it's Caitlin with Glitter Shimp coming to you from the back of my cup turner today. And this is so I can give you guys a quick overview of the new Glitter Shimp cup turner. Now, I've had this cup turner for actually about two months, which, you know, we've been working on this for a while now. And when Jess and Michael in the fabrication shop decided to come up with a new cup turner design, I basically was like, please make this like the Swiss army knife of cup turners and they delivered. Let me tell you how awesome this is. So this cup turner comes with five motors and each motor has its own access point up here above the top of the cup turner, which is great because you can easily get to your switches without having to try to move your cup turner and reach behind it. So you can easily have this push completely up against a wall, or if you don't want it against the wall, you can just put it up at the table, which is how I have mine. And so it's nice because you have five easily accessible um, on and off switches and the motors can spin either direction. So in order to change the direction, all you actually have to do is just turn it off and then back on and it'll change directions. So it also comes with, um, sorry, let me just, yep, do it this way. Four drying racks that you can, you know, take your cup off, put up here. Um, the cup turner does come with five PVC arms, but you can get additional arms if you're like me and you constantly are rotating tumblers through the cup turner to drying. Whoopsies. Um, which is cool. So you can easily do, have so many different cups going at one time. Um, one of the other kind of fun and yet different um, <laughs> accessories that I asked for is a phone stand and I know y'all are like but why would you need that and here I'll tell you why so when you're watching a tutorial typically you're gonna have your phone down on the thing or somehow propped up against something but the cool thing is with this is you just add it you just set it right here in front of the cup that you're working on and you can watch the tutorial while you're sitting there doing your cup and it's kind of awesome because then you can sit there and actually pay attention to the video or hear the video without having to ignore the cat. Please ignore the cat in the background. Baron, stop. Bad kitty. Anyways, he's not normally in here. <laughs> so, hi Baron. Um, it, back to what I was saying. So it has a phone stand. It'll hold a phone or a tablet, which is nice because again, you can just have it up there. Or if you're like me, I like to listen to music and sometimes I actually watch shows with like TV shows while I'm doing cups. So it's just nice to have that as an option. Um, but again, it's all removable. So if you don't need it up there and you need the extra slot for drying, you just pop it off and can set whatever tumbler you need in its place. So that's really cool. Uh, let's see. Other thing it has that you can get as an extra feature is um, a glitter rack. So the glitter rack has four, will hold four jars of glitter, which I'm not usually t doing more than four jars of glitter at a time, but you know, sometimes it can happen, especially if I'm doing like a beach tumbler or something like that. But um, it'll hold the four jars, which is really nice because it keeps it out of your way, less chance of getting epoxy and alcohol inks and other things on it, which is nice. Uh, also, there's another one that you can add on, which is the alcohol ink and uh, marble paint rack, which for me, when I'm using alcohol inks, typically, like, so right here, I was doing a coffee tumbler yesterday. So I have my I have five inks sitting here. Um, sometimes I'm using more, sometimes I'm using less. It just depends on the kind of, the type of design I'm doing. But like for a coffee cup, it's going to end up being five, um, typically five. So it's really nice because you actually have a lot of options to set a bunch of them up at one time. And me personally, I tend to get a little, um, messy when I'm making cups. So I, what happens is I'm like making one and then I go to the next one and I've set something down and I can't find it. This is nice because then every, all my inks are up here and I know where they are. The next thing that you can get is the tool, um, the tool holder, which, I mean, it's got a ton of slots for different things, scissors, paint brushes, markers, whatever you need. Um, I just use it to hold my paint brushes, my scissors, and my markers. So I love that I have this though. Again, it's out of the way. It's not going to get epoxy slung on it, which is really great because I, again, I'm a little messy when I make cups. Um, there's also the pen turner adapter that you can get. Uh, this one is 
the normal one, but for those of you who are just starting out, we do have the option for a single, which is nice, because then if you're not really sure if you want to get into it, you can just try a single, and it works real well. I'm just going to hide that there. Um, the base of the cup turner is amazing, because you can store things inside of it. So for those of you who have to move your cup turner because it's on your kitchen table, or you need to move it around, you can, because everything just stores inside. So for me, I actually always keep my Mod Podge and my, this is a spray bottle full of rubbing alcohol in here so I can always have access to it if I need it. I've also, let me see, what's good? Okay, I've got my little cup of water here for rinsing out brushes. I've got this little box here, which holds all of my gloves. And then I have this other little box here that actually has a divider in it so it has four different compartments and i only use it though for holding um stir sticks and my epoxy measuring cups which is really nice because they're again all right there in front of me so yeah this is the cup turner i love it like i said i've had this for about two months now oh i'm totally forgetting the giant thing in the room right <laughs> uh, and also you can get this as an extra added little accessory so with this, you can set it up as a divider so that you don't get anything on other tumblers or my favorite thing to do with it, use it as a cup cover so that I don't get dust and stuff that falls just naturally in the, you know, from the air onto my cup, which is really nice. I love being able to do that because especially in here, there is stuff that just randomly just floats around and uh, it keeps it off of the cup, which is perfect. So this is my cup turner, guys. Um, I know you guys are gonna love our new cup turner. I've had the same cup turner now for two, two and a half, three years. Um, I've been making cups now for about four and a half years. My goodness. Um, but uh, so I'm switching now, and if, after I started using this one, this is it for me, and I'm so excited about it. Cause I can, I mean, I can do five cups at once and have four drying at the same time and then just flip them around and change the pole, the arms out, which is great. Um, all of our cup turners though are going to come with a um, three month warranty. And uh, when you get the cup turners too, it has instructions in there and it tells you how everything is to set up. I am going to do a tutorial kind of on showing how to assemble everything once you get it out of the box. Not that there's any like real assembling that has to happen, but there's just a few things that need to be put in place and, you know, just to make sure that everything is set the way it's supposed to. So um, this is the cup turner, guys. I'm really excited. I know y'all are going to love it. And I can't wait to see the amazing things you guys create with it. So if y'all have any questions, make a comment below. I'll make sure to answer it as quickly as I possibly can. But I'm really excited um, about this. So these will go online tonight at 8 o'clock. PM Central Time. So, and today is September 10th. So, if you watch this video another day uh, after today, uh, but really excited. I know you guys are gonna love these. Cannot wait to see how everyone loves. I mean, I know y'all are gonna love them. So, really excited. And um, again, if y'all have any questions or anything, just comment below, and I will respond as quickly as I can. And if I can't, Michael will. Or Jess. So yeah, who knows? But anyways, you guys have a great rest of your night and have a great weekend. And I will get the tutorial up soon for the assembly of the tumble of the cup turner, as well as we've got the plaid tumbler tutorial. What do we got? Coffee, a my uh, the rainbow mica, and the tamgram, which I'm really excited about too. So you guys have a great night, and I will talk to you guys again soon.